commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set, we're set, as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And with towels waving, we're underway from Heinz Field. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by a man who's becoming an elder statesman among quarterbacks in the league, drafted back in 04. It's Ben Roethlisberger. And when you talk about the best quarterbacks in the NFL, you have to talk about Ben Roethlisberger. And he's used to competition. Remember the class he came out of in 2004 with Eli Manning and Phillip Rivers also available. Yeah, how many do you think envision the greatness of that class at the time? I don't think to the levels that we've seen. Potential, no doubt. But how many Super Bowls collectively have these guys won? Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. On second down, Roethlisberger. And this is caught by Martavis Bryant. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, follow it away, lad. Follow it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depended on what he was feeling at the moment. Okay. I, thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he's usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Eh. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. First down carry, so it's second and nine. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. What comes to Le'Veon Bell, it's not about the numbers. It's about his style. And when we watch him run the football and almost stop time behind the line of scrimmage before he finds the hole he wants to run through, it's a style that's his and unique to him. I'm not sure everyone else can emulate it. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Again, it's Bell. And an alley to run. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot. 
getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two and when you get good yardage like that on first down it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense but i love the way he's finishing those runs at the end of things he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra counting down toward the midway point in corner one Set him back five. Still second down. Now it's second and seven. Stephen Ridley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. It's so important to establish the running game early in a contest because when you do that, that just opens your playbook so big for your offensive coordinator. And to be frank about it, they like calling pass plays better than they like calling running plays. And with the way that they're running it right now, that's going to open things up to do whatever they want through the air as this game goes on. They go play action here on first down. And this one is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And we take you through the starting defense for Jacksonville. I'm pretty confident that at this stage of his career, Telvin Smith is very happy to not hear that he looks like he should be playing safety. When he came out of college, he was an undersized linebacker that many thought might actually swing to the defensive backfield. But he stayed at linebacker and has been a very productive player for Jacksonville. Led the team with 98 tackles in 2016. Ten yards still left on second down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side, but for lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and cause a nice play for lost yardage. Now this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now, Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Roethlisberger with a give to Bell. And yeah, not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. 
the best defensive linemen. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. And McDonald here over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Hmm, interesting. Time to find out. A long drive here. Play 12 coming up for the offense. They'll give it to Ridley. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action. Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They'll try and run it in with Bell. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Again, it's Fournette. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. So nothing there that time. And maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Bortles going to try and throw on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So on fourth down, here's Brad Nortman on to punt it away. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Now Brown. Brown with a stick skills. 
A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here. First and 10. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, yeah. let it Short go, term memory. and move on to the next series. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he loses the football a second time. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive? Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They fake the handoff. Now Bortles. And he lost six there on the first down play. Going to run the draw with Fournette. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Midfield, here's Bortles. And the catch made here by Marquis Lee. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Just a five yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And tough starting field position here. Roethlisberger going to hand to Bell. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him? Giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up a first down. On 
First and ten, it's Roethlisberger. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. A give to Bell. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with Larry Ridley for highlights and analysis of our first half of play. Now, not too many highlights yet, at least in terms of scoring plays, that is. Yeah, but hang in there. We might get something these last two minutes. Roethlisberger. And James has it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And connection number one there on the game, Roethlisberger to Boney Tony, Antonio Brown. That's what his high school teammates used to call him. I wonder what they would call him now. <laughs> more muscular, more successful Boney Tony Brown, right? <laughs> I'd say you're probably right. It may be all of that. They'll still call him Boney Tony, but Ben Roethlisberger calls him my number one target. on first down. Man open left side is Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. There's no doubt about it. That's just one of the best connections in the league. Big Ben throwing it to Antonio Brown, and Antonio Brown has turned himself into such a player. A low-round draft pick, but you can't beat his determination or work ethic, and Big Ben welcomes that. And Big Ben won a Super Bowl at 23, youngest ever to do so, has never looked back. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And the Steelers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. Ben to throw again. This is Bell on the dump off. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Calais Campbell in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Final play of the half, it's Roethlisberger. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. It's a 0-0 game at half, so both sides obviously love their defense and hate their offense. Moving forward, we'll just have to see if it's the first to score that wins. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Second and two coming up. The ball's going to come out on the run. Now to late in the first half, Campbell's going to get to the QB for the sack. This will go as a loss of five. Still late in the first half. Campbell's going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up with a short loss in yardage. Still late in the first half. Jackson's going to get to the quarterback here. This ends up with a short loss in yardage. So that'll do it from here in Orlando. No points in this one yet, but we'll hand it back over to a man who's always on point. That's Brandon Guy. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. 
This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. This is Fournette, and he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down following the run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. complete and he's taken down but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Well for teams that like to play man coverage running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off sometimes you're just rounding it sometimes there's a fake sometimes there's not that makes it very very difficult for a DB to stay with it. Fresh set of downs here. Here we go now. Green. They'll run it now out of the gun. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Six yards to go here on second down. Throwing his borders. And his throw is incomplete. Marquise Lee, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, Plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot? Balls out of his hands. Receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took a snap, he counted in his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Fourth down, Doug Marone going to send out his field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So good news, Charles. This will not be a scoreless tie as we finally get our first points of the contest here in quarter number three. Let the celebration begin, partner. Yeah, it's just a field goal. But the way these defenses ruled the first half, any points are looking pretty good right about now. Now 
Now after the made field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most half? Of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Now Roethlisberger to throw. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Throw left side complete. It's Brown. And of the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. here on first down and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack Avery Jones coming up the middle gets him there for a loss of about nine the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush it's been demonstrated time and time again Second down, here's Roethlisberger. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And the Steelers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and 19. Now it's Roethlisberger. Bryant with a catch right side. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. 
Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. False start offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Fournette. Lucky there just to avoid the safety. Able to fight through, but still backed up near the goal line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And on second and ten now. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So we've got a second and five. Go left, go left. Go, go. Three, 90. <laughs> Working from the gun, it's Bortles. And he's out of bounds up past the 15-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh i like it they'll toss it to fournette <laughs> and he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Fournette on the counter. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. You'll forgive me if I get excited about what we just saw there, won't you? I know I'm supposed to be neutral here, but those were terrific plays back-to-back -back defensively. They know what the mission is. They've got to force a punt here if they want to have a chance to win the game. They absolutely do. Steps one and two done. Now they need this third step. Throwing his Bortles on third down. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. on the give to Fournette. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. 
seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. A handoff to Fournette. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third and ten. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. The Jaguars on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. The play fake to Ivory. Now Bortles. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here's Brad Nordman now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Gun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A good pick up there, 22. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. down and 10 now for the offensive group. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And some room to roam now. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and it's a second down. So the offense looking at a second and eight. Roethlisberger will throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. After that incompletion, I almost get the sense that he's going to look up at the booth and, and kind of look at us and say, hey, you guys got any suggestions? It's been that kind of game, hasn't it? They've had him on the run throughout. Yeah, and I get that you're trying to make a play here losing fourth quarter, but to throw when you're not set with pressure coming could have been an interception. Very much so, and it's been that kind of game for him. They've had him on the run, had him off balance. He's got to find a way to make some big-time throws down the stretch. He completes it to Bryant. 
And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. And of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's James. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. So the offense has it first and 10. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's back to throw over the middle complete. It's James, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Back to throw. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. Foster offense. So that one will be accepted.
And the seemingly endless drive continues. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. He'll look to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. That's well, not exactly what you want there, especially given the time of the clock. But now you've got to kick the field goal, right? You do. And actually, you show a little faith in your defense when you do that because you kick the field goal here. You're telling them, we believe you'll get the ball back for us for one more shot. And Boswell's kick is good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. So this hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after another, but at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been a pretty doggone entertaining game. Yeah, it's kind of like a pitcher's duel in baseball, don't you think? The aficionados can appreciate a tightly fought game like this. Yeah, but the fantasy players, not so much. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that. But they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. has it the tight end and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line that throw good for four it's second down to throw his borders caught right side it's lewis and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 it goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains now Bortles. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Second down now after the pass completion. Here we go, here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Back to throw, Bortles. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game.
Fournette, a first down carry. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So now the onus will fall on the shoulders of Josh Lambeau. With three seconds to go, this for the win. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is the Red Sea parts, and there he goes. 20, 10, and he's in for the game-winning score with no time left on the clock. one here on the PAT. And his kick is good. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, did it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football. Low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defensive. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.